Ja. It will stop hiding behind the tree. We've come off the path again, straight down the bottom there. A little bit hard to see, but doing through the trees you can you've got to do and walk. Just walk I'm on both half little bank stage here. It's steeper than what it looks. And you can see the daylight at the top, that's the top up there. This was the remains of an old footpath. You can see bits of steps just doing there. They're a little bit buried now. We've had to come off it. It just it's a little bit rough. Never been used for years. Let me just see what we can see. There used to be loads of rabbits and that in here. There's, there's a rabbit burrow down there. We're just hoping to get close to a little bit of nature, but. It's getting quite hard to see anything. It's still early spring at the minute. The leaves are just starting to come through on the trees. A lot of small birds and that kicking around, but we're just trying to see anything else really. Right, we've just climbed up through there. We're on the top of the path now. It's a lot higher than what it looks and that's where we're gonna we'll just this way takes you all the way back along that way takes you back doing up the dome why it's just a bit of a circular path around the top of the hill so you can they play at this deliberately so you can get these views the gip side but that was a bit of a climb you can see the half a mile here now um, I like give side hall I should say. Zooming in a bit too far, it's didn't know what kind of quality picture I'm gonna get. I can't even see where I'm looking. I'm wavering a little bit. It's when you zoom in too far on this, it just just looks ridiculously too far. <sighs> Noisy chuff chops. Up there in the field up in the distance there. We're on the part of the Dome Walk, what's it? Lock Hall? It's between Swarble and Rollins Gill. I'm gonna let them know. I'm not even sure if I can see it. Uh, You've got the nail uh, right at the top of the tree, you know. It's flu, it's gone now. I couldn't see it for the light, you know, I'm just reflecting on here again. That's the worst thing about this. When you're in the open the light just reflects on the screen. There's a lot of small birds in here. Ah. 
That's got your on it. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a video on it. Let's see if I can. The sun's actually shining in there now. Well, I'm saying the front of them does look really light now on the side of them. Aye. But close up like they look lovely to them when they look so you need to close up like. Yeah, it's creeping up there now. Um, I'm looking for it. But all of a sudden there's a gap and now it flew off them, it just could be. That's it, yeah. It's prob it's most likely it's gone straight into the hole, hasn't it? Quite far, didn't it? Just seem to disappear, but I've got the the nest in view there. It's a tree creep I will look on that. It's nesting in that loose bark on that oak tree there. Just inside there. I was there a couple of seconds ago, I just... The, what I'm looking at there, it's a... It looks like a green woodpecker's wall in the tree. It's definitely a bit too big to be a great spot of woodpecker. It'll be getting used off something else. I well, only noticed it there because it was uh, while looking at the, the tree creepers in the loose bark there and then he sort of looked up and seen that one at the same time. We just we've already filmed most of this it'll go into in this wood. But it's when it's using a new HD camera I just thought I would get an extra video of the day. Just to see what type of quality pictures are because the last camera I was using, the pictures were still very grainy. So we'll just see what difference it makes. We're back doing the bottom end of the kill wood again. Just seeing what sort of camera picture we're gonna get when this camera. But we didn't come this far down last time or more down here. We're just a bit further up behind where I am. I just thought we'd show you this part. The old tunnel. It goes a it's probably about a quarter of a mile long. It's, there's a main road, there's a big green on the top and it, like it goes down to River Derwent. This tunnel is quite long, this one. At least a quarter of a mile or something. You could go through it years ago. I just didn't know if you can... Someone did see it, it got blocked in the middle. There's like some sort of grid in it, I'm just not sure. I haven't got a torch and I'm on as a deer. I'm not sure what type of picture quality I would get if I did try and get through there. This is a bit deeper than once the other tunnel was. <clears throat> I'll have a look, I'm just not sure if I can get over there with heat getting wet. The water is a little bit deeper than the last tunnel we went in there. But you can see where they filled the original tunnel in, the concrete of it. 
There used to be like a, a bit of a ledge all the way down on both sides. You could walk down it. But uh, you can see there the, the old gap to just put all this pipe work in. Trying to get balanced with it getting wet. Mm -hmm. The stones are a bit slippery where I'm standing. It's just really wet and slippy. <laughs> He's hiring stuff in again. <laughs> He's trying to splash his sword in. But this is a bit bigger than the last tunnel. Epo! <laughs> Had to do that. Oh, get out of here, we're getting wet. Echo, one of the oldest dwarf guns. Oh. Ah, uh, but you're going up there, in front of the big green at the bottom of the gill, the gill lane. Got the car garage just across from it. And doing the back of that wood, about 100 yards, you've got the, the river doing one. That's where this tunnel comes in doing that. You said the caravan park, on this gill. Just up there, you can just see it. Carrying crow's nest. And that's either the, its tail or its head sticking out the top there. I don't know if it's looking do no more. We're just doing that part of the Gilwood again. The red kites is just doing that. 